Hello everyone, welcome. This is Diana Rankin with your weekly soul messages and psychic predictions. And this is the third week of January already. We're into 2019 and before we know it, this year will be over. So we want to appreciate every moment of our lives that we possibly can. What we're going to do this week is what we do every week. We're going to get the predictions from Philip. Um, you know, this year I've just started reading them rather than speaking them. Um, it's just a little bit easier on me. Uh, I usually wake up about 4 or 4.30 uh, the day before, the day of the videotaping, and ask Philip, what do you want to say this week? We also, I started uh, in December, I started the end of last year, giving you ways of creating joy in your life from one of my books. It's called Joy. Uh, the Art of Living a Happy Life, or The Art of Creating a Happy Life. And it's actually 52 practices. You do one a week. And yes, it is available on Amazon.com as well as, as my own website. Uh, and this week I pulled out at page 36, week 14. I'm not going to read the whole thing because it's too long, but I just kind of tell you uh, what we're going to do, how to create some joy in your life, because... That's very, very important. And then, of course, we get a message from one of my other books, which is The Master's Book of Answer by Philip. So we'll go through all of that over the next few moments together. And I thank each and every one of you for coming. I thank you for coming back. I thank you for telling your friends. I thank you so much for helping to spread joy in the world. I am so grateful for every moment of joy we spread, every moment of love that we spread. And thank you. Uh, I don't always get a chance to answer those comments immediately. Uh, and I get a couple hundred emails every day. And I, I try to get to them as quickly as I can. But a lot of it depends upon my schedule, how many, where I am, what groups I'm working with, etc., etc. So I do get a chance to read them, uh, even if I don't get a chance to respond. So thank you. I'm grateful for them. Let's see what Philip has to say about this week of January, this third week of January coming up. It looks like we will have an end to the government shutdown, but it will be forced and there will continue to be turmoil. This will come later in the week. Now, as I say that, of course, things can change and we could lose that opportunity to have the shutdown end in the U.S. government, but right now it looks like that's going to end at the end of the week. Much will take place this week with much taking place behind the scenes. Although it will seem much is taking place and many will ask if it can get any crazier than this, know that time is a great deal more. Let me go back. I had to turn the page then. Um, Many will ask if it can get any crazier than this. Know that there is a great deal more that is taking place that is to be known soon, but not quite at this time. The oceans are also in turmoil. There is a large wave that will swamp the islands of the South Seas and into the far north. There will be no loss of human life as the waves come ashore because few live there. There is a connection between these waves, but your scientists will not yet understand the connections. The two waves will create larger than average waves along coastal areas, along with unusual tides. This will pose no danger, only add to the joy of those who ride the waves. Caution must be taken, however. It is to be remembered that nothing is permanent. All is in flux, so mourn not that which has been destroyed. Instead, hold the joy in your heart. This is what brings the beauty to your world. That which feels real is not. That which seems permanent is not. All that is real is love. This is difficult for the human side of you to accept. The spiritual aspect of who you are knows the truth of this, so let the spiritual side influence the human and more will be understood. We say you have a roof we, we say you have a roof over your head because you conceived of such a roof. 
does it not then follow that that which you conceive of is what becomes your truth? The roof over your head is a manifestation of your intentions and actions propelled by emotion. Your goal then is to continue to turn your thoughts to those of love rather than fear, joy rather than sorrow, laughter rather than hate. Put your concentration here on love for this is the only way to calm the turmoil, replant the broken trees, and create a living environment for all beings. Well, my friends, in the U.S. and elsewhere, not just in the U.S., we are having tremendous issues, and our governments are broken. And sometimes things have to break for greater things to come about. So right now, let's concentrate and create those greater things to bring them about and not rely upon our governments to do the right thing. Because obviously, they can't. They aren't. They're a stalemate. And if we create the greater joy in the world, if we create that which is right in the world, then our governments will have to follow. One of the ways of creating joy in your life, I promised you, as I say, this book has 52 ways, different stories, and then the methods. And I'm just going to kind of give you the, the overbrush of week 14. It's about creating an awareness journal. And what you do is, when you come to the end of the day, in the evening sometime, write down in a journal the, all of those thoughts that were non-life affirming, those so-called negative thoughts, and then rewrite the story. Look at what those thoughts are. You know, how did I get angry at, at my spouse? Or why did that comment on social media upset me? Or why did that so social, that uh, co-worker, uh, why, did, why did I let that set me into fear. Just think about these things and then in your journal rewrite the scenario. Just simply rewrite the story. You'll get to the point eventually where while it, you're in the middle of the anger or the fear or, or the upset, you'll get to the point where you'll start rewriting it while you're in it and it changes the whole atmosphere. One more way of creating joy in your life. Let's see what Philip has for us this week. With this book, as you know, it's just an oracle book, and we just kind of flip through it, and our finger kind of stops at any page, and when our finger stops, we think left page or right page, because each page each page has its different wisdom on it. Um, and so I'm going to read, I think the right page is our answer, is our message for this week, but I'm going to also read the left page, because I just always do that. So our right page says, you never lose when you reach out in love. You never lose when you reach out in love. And the left page says, you learn of God. To learn of God, look within. To learn of God, look within. But remember, you never lose when you reach out in love. Instead of moaning and groaning about what's going on, what if we took all of that energy and created something that does work? What if instead of being frightened of the dark, we turn on the light and we learn to walk through the dark without fear, but with love? What is going on at our southern border in the U.S.? What is going on in many other countries right now is horrific. And yes, we do need to speak out, but we also need to take action. So what's an action you could take today when something upsets you? For example, if the, what's going on at the southern border upsets you, there are agencies, there are organizations that are working to correct that. Certainly we can't all get in our cars or on an airplane and, and rush down there. But what we can do is donate money to those agencies and don't do so as an act of love, which simply means say a prayer when you're donated them, donating the money. If you see homelessness in your own village, your own city, 
What can you do there? Go through your closets. Find clothes that may be of help. If you can offer people a job, offer them a job. There are so many things we can do with love, including down to just smiling at one another. Yes, we need to know what is going on in our world. We need to speak out against it. But if that's all we do, we're not doing enough. Let's turn it to love. Let's turn our lives to acts of love, not acts of fear. I love you, my friends. I am so grateful for the love you give to me. Thank you. Thank you for being with us. Until we meet again, stay in love.